that damn red-headed woodpecker. It's an ivory bill woodpecker. And it's considered extinct. Or at least on a very, very endangered list. Like an almost, ex, uh, that's what they call it, extinct list. List. Well, it's here. It came to me this morning and it landed in a tree about 30 yards in front of me. Oh, not even that far. I'm looking at the tree right now. It's about 25, maybe 30, 40 feet. About 40 feet, I guess. Yeah, about 40 feet down there. And it was eye level, looking at me. I went to get the camera to let everybody be still. Still inside the house. Went to get the camera. Got the camera in my hand. Started filming and went to the back side of the tree. Peeked around at me. I couldn't get it. And it flew off. Couldn't catch it. Went off over here. Landed in a tree about 75 yards away. I level again. Went over there, tried to get up to the house just to get a shot of it, because two other trees are in the way of it. To get, had to get around it. Thing went to the ground. I shot for it, looked for it, and then all of a sudden I saw it take off. I may have got it in a wide shot. I'm not sure. If I did, it's just a glimpse of it, and it flew off across that away towards the mountain. There's a river behind me. There's some ponds that away. Uh, their habitat is around rivers or swamplands and it's kind of a, like a bottom land back over here. So that's where I'm thinking that the it, it probably comes from. Feeds across this land and goes across over towards the mountain feeds over there in the bottoms of that. And, Heads back over, it probably goes about, makes a big square and goes back to its nest over by the river. So, I am after this thing. It's teasing me. This bird is smart. It's teasing me. It's not making a friend out of me. Ivory Bill Woodpecker. Jackson Burns and the search for the ivory bill woodpecker somewhere in Oklahoma.